Hello, Pentavlog slash Pappy. Are you ready for a poorly lit vlog in my car at 10.30 at night? Cause I sure am. I said vlog, but I meant video response. There were two items in your video that I wanted to respond to. Number one, regarding censored internet. I definitely agree that censored internet in any way is a bad thing. As a Chinophile, I can't not say something about it because in China, there's incredible amounts of censorship on what you can see, what you can Google, if you can Google. I'm sure many people watching this video have heard about Google moving their headquarters from inside of China to Hong Kong, which happens to be the greatest city in the world, which is a pretty bold step, but a step forward in terms of trying to avoid censorship. They've also made a lot of things public that China didn't want them to make public, which I think is just wonderful. With regards to morality versus illegality, I think it's interesting that you would make that connection. You said that illegal and immoral sort of coincide. I've heard a lot of objections, at least in the United States, over bringing up proposed laws because they don't want to legislate morality. But isn't all legislation based on morality in one way or another? Number two. I don't know what that means. Cut it out. <laughs> that was for you, Roxanne. Anyway, yeah, number two. How to act on camera. If you are consciously realizing that you're changing your personality, or at least the way you present yourself in speech, and you feel some need to match some sort of expectation that one person might have of you, I think you may be in the minority. Most people change the way they act subconsciously. Most people also tend to take the mannerisms, attitudes, and little quirks about people that are around them, and subconsciously apply it to the way that they act. Now, if you're self-consciously acting a certain way around a certain person, my only question would be, why? As for myself, when I'm filming it sort of depends on my mood, the mood I want to create in the video, or expectations based on what I'm doing. For example, I try to keep my vlogs high energy so people will remain interested and listen to what I have to say. If I'm doing a sketch, likewise, I want to keep it fast paced and high energy. If I'm trying to convey a serious point, I may talk a little slower or enunciate a little more. But generally, when I'm just talking to the camera, I talk to it like I'd talk to anybody who was sitting right next to me. This is pretty much how I am. And you can probably verify that because you talked to me on Skype today. Quite lovely, by the way. Definitely gonna have to do that again soon. Anyway, let's try not to make this too long. In general, though, I think the slow and kind of relaxed attitude of this vlog that I'm responding to was pretty good. It fit the tone of what you were talking about. It kind of fit Pentavlog as well. And you've been fairly consistent in most of your videos. In a few, you've been kind of like hyper or whatever, but it always seemed to kind of have to do with what was going on in the video or what you were doing in the video. Just stay honest. Be yourself. Now I sound like an after school special. Bye.